It's conspiracy time, guys. Fully adieu the Joker. Are we going to get this guy next week? Because the movie is going to be out next week, uh, October 4th. So, normally, Injustice 2 Mobile is a promotional tool for DC. We would expect that they will release the character in the game to promote the movie. Are we going to get this character? What else can we expect from the next update on Injustice 2 Mobile? Well, it's conspiracy time. So let's get straight into it. First off, uh, everything I'm going to say in this video, uh, I please take with a grain of salt. This is just conspiracy. This is just leaks all over the internet. Nothing here is confirmed. So everything I'm saying could all be BS by the time the update comes around. So yeah, let's just go. Let's just go into the conspiracy time. I love conspiracies. Anyways, anyways, the first conspiracy we're going to talk about <laughs> is that player accounts can now be leveled up to a hundred ah so i think at the moment the highest level player account can get to is level 80 and I, there was a bug uh, sometime back that allowed users to just get to 80 straightforward so i think that really hurts them now they've decided to take it uh, if this conspiracy if these leaks are to be trusted they decided to take it to level 100 so the maximum level is no longer level 80 it's going to be level 100 what does this mean for i don't think the level of your account really has any effect i guess hmm i don't know i don't know i've, I've never really seen like a true benefit i'm not saying it doesn't it has effect obviously but i don't know if oh this is groundbreaking uh, ah level we're going to be on level 80 this uh, i don't unless something else is going to come alongside that maybe they say okay if you're on level 90 we're going to get this new thing but the, every existing thing that's connected to your account level is not really groundbreaking it's not something to like really be excited about at least in my own opinion maybe because i've been playing the game for so long maybe for new players it might be more important i don't know but yeah, that's not like a big thing for me. Even if they say, okay, we're well, taking your account to level 100, I don't see I don't see anything there. Anyways, let's go to the second leak, the second conspiracy. The new legendary Fully Adieu, the Joker, joins Injustice 2 roster on October 1st alongside his sidekick, the new gold Fully Adieu, the Harley Quinn. So... This is exciting now. Now we're talking about we're entering the exciting zone. This is why me loves me love a conspiracy. Uh, <laughs> fully adieu the Joker, legendary. Then fully adieu Harley Quinn. What are going to be the passives of this character? Are these characters going to be damage dealers? Are these characters going to be for uh, P uh, PVP or uh, PVE? no idea just this uh conspiracy just this uh prediction for the update that yeah we're going to be having these characters and this even apart from leaks and all of that see, i said it before even when injustice 2 mobile were letting go of the a lot of their stuff i was telling that they will still keep some people that will work on promotions this game is this game doesn't make money just want to let you guys know it doesn't make money but it is a good promotional tool for whenever they have any new project any new animation or any new movie coming out so that's that's i said this during that last update that yeah we should still be expecting this uh a game to still be used for promotion so considering that this movie is coming out on the 4th of october and that's next week i would say yes this looks like something that could actually happen on the next update and personally i'm excited we've not had anything new in the game and the way the game was going we're not even to expect anything unless connected to, with a movie so i actually hope we start getting more dc movies so that we can be getting more characters in this game so yeah fully adieu the joker um, I, I personally am excited bring me more fully adieu and for those that don't even know fully adieu means shared delusion so i think that's even the thing the theme of the movie two people having the same mental breakdown having the same delusion so yeah fully adieu i love it i'm personally having a fully adieu of this game's next update right now so excited <laughs> anyways 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 number three heroic mode seven to ten woohoo Heroic mode 7 to 10 can be unlocked now on solo raid after defeating Heroic 7 and attaining level 80 player account level. Oh shit! Oh my goodness! This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Anyways, let me finish. Heroic tiers above 8 will have a small chance to drop a gear for any character. That's great. So this is amazing, guys. This is really means uh, in solo raids, 
we've we'll been asking for this for such a long time and we're going to be able to have a uh, heroic mode up to heroic 10 right now we have up to heroic 7 so we're going to be having heroic 8 heroic 9 and heroic 10 but as uh, so i'm seeing here now attaining level 80 player accounts i'm currently on level 78 and that shit takes a long time so it means that even if this comes out next week i won't be able to go above uh where i currently am in any solo raid because i'm still on level 78 guys that sucks uh, those of you that were able to get that uh, bug that took your account to level 80 i guess this is the benefit for benefit for that i guess i have to start grinding my account now <laughs> to get that level up and uh, it's going to take me it's, it's some time at least two months that's crazy that's crazy but yeah it's a good update it's a good update but it's not good this is not going to be accessible to everyone it's just going to be those that have a level 80 account you're going to be able to play higher heroics mm, that sucks guys i'm pissed <laughs> i'm pissed off <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess it's my fault for not grinding the game. Uh, yeah, but that, that's a good update. If that is true, that's a good update. Uh, number four. the Okay, new legendary arena now available for players with account level 8. Oh, my goodness. What the fuck is going on, man? Level, <laughs> account level 80 and above featuring Dark Side, Arkham Knight Batman, Martian Manhunter and Black Manta. So, oh my goodness. I'm not that. Um, I wasn't playing Arena that much. And even every legendary you are going to have a chance to get, which is Dark Side, Arkham Knight, Batman, Martian Manhunter, and Black Manta. Either they don't serve any real purpose or I already have them maxed up. So. <laughs> I don't really care for this one. But yeah, for those of you that want more competition for Arena, there's going to be a legendary Arena allegedly and this uh legendary arena is you once you have you can only have access to it when you are on level 80. you are going to have a chance to get dark side a chance to get legendary batman that's akam knight batman martian man hunter and black manta so this is good on that level 80 blocker here oh my goodness i was excited before but now i'm pissed off i guess the only thing i can celebrate now is fully a deal anyways number five number five new legendary pass now available for deathstroke yeah so there's going to be a deathstroke legendary pass uh yeah i've not really cared about this legendary pass and deathstroke is a character that even if you have him even just on two stars he's already useful just get his gears and he's useful at two stars so uh yeah that is good for those that don't have him uh that would be an easy way to get him but yeah, so this update, if it is true, it's a good one. It's, it's actually going to be one of the best ones we've had in, in, in recent years. I would say it's, this even looks more like an update 7 rather than an update 6.4. So it feels like a major update because of the new characters, because of the new modes. Yeah, this, I, mean, I know I'm saying, I said earlier, or 6.4, because that's what the leak says, but I actually believe, my own personal opinion, this is going to be a seven, but we don't know. All of this is allegedly, all of these are leaks, all of these are predictions. And yeah, I think fully adieu, exciting. Everybody will have a chance to get a character, we'll see what the character can do. And, um, uh, the new heroic mode and the new arena is great, but uh, not everybody's going to have access to that, unfortunately, until you get to your level 80. Time to start grinding, I guess. My goodness. Pisses me off, man. Pisses me off. But yeah, what, what to do? Anyways, that's about it. So what do you think about these leaks? What do you think about these predictions? Which one are you excited for? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next one. Fully adieu.